What's up guys and welcome back to another math video from Scalar Learning and today we are talking about the basics for factoring quadratics. Again, what are quadratics? They are simply these expressions where the highest degree is 2. And when we're talking about factoring, it's a really effective method for when you eventually need to solve for roots of these quadratic equations. So let's go over the basics. Now what we're trying to do is we're trying to break this up into the product of two binomials. And we're doing this with the understanding that binomials multiply through something called FOIL. So for example, if I have a binomial like this, x plus two, uh, two sets of binomials, x plus two times x plus three, the way that they would multiply is that would first multiply there, we get an x squared. This would go here and we get a 3x, 3 times x. Then these would multiply, we'd get 2x. And then last, these would multiply and we'd get a 6, right? And then we'd combine like terms and this would end up being x squared plus 5x plus 6. So that's coming from the standpoint of, hey, we've got two binomials, we're foiling them and that's what we end up with. With factoring, we're going the other way around. We're trying to get, we're trying to go and rewind to get this, to get the two sets of binomials. So the way we wanna think about this is of course, in these first two terms, what is gonna to multiply to give me that x squared? Well, of course, that's just gonna be x and x, so that's pretty straightforward. And then what's gonna to multiply to give me the 21? Well, that's gonna go here and here. But there's a problem, right? It's not that simple. Like for example, I could just put a one and 21 there. And since everything's positive, we can make it plus plus. But the problem with this is if I actually uh, factor, foil it out, I get x squared, that's great. But then I get 21x plus 1x. 21x plus x is gonna be 22x. That's not what we have here, we have a 10x. So that's a problem. So we can now are gonna have to think about two numbers that not only multiply to 21, but also add to 10, right? So it's gonna multiply to 21, add to 10. What two numbers fit that bill? It's going to be seven and three. And now we can see that if we FOIL that we get x squared, plus 3x plus 7x plus 21 and then this gives us that combined 10x and we're good to go. Now let's apply that same logic here. Again we want to think about these two binomials and again we're always going to start with that x and x like so because that's going to give us the x squared. Now we want to see what's going to multiply to negative 20 but add to negative 8. So we can play around with some different things. Perhaps a four and a five. One's gotta be negative, one's gotta be positive, right? Because we're getting a negative 20. Well, if that's negative and that's positive, does a negative five plus a positive four give me a negative eight? No, it doesn't. They need to be much farther apart. So let's think about some other combinations. What about 10 and two? So if we've got a 10 and a two, again, they multiply to 20. Maybe let's make the 10 negative and the two positive. What does negative 10 plus two equal? It equals negative eight. We've got our winner. And just to double check, let's FOIL it. So again, we've got x squared minus 10x plus 2x minus 20. These guys combine to give us negative eight x. And that's it, we did it. I hope this video was helpful. If you did like it, please click that like button. If you want to see more from the Scalar Learning channel, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.